no, another issue here is social impacts, right? Mm. We've talked about the mm. landscape, we've talked about the impact it has on, on the actual greenery, the, the trees being cleared mm. for different mm. um, extractive mm. industries. Mm. Um, but what about social impacts? Um, and it's, it's difficult to talk about winners and losers, mm. but can you give us some insight into who has benefited from the coming in of a new extractive industry? A very practical kind of situation, right? So, yes, you say winners and losers, um, though it's much more complex, of course, than just sure. black and white. Social impacts are difficult to analyze, but um, I guess one of the things that we want to do is have a differentiated approach to what we might call the community. I mean, mm -hmm. all too often there is a rather simplistic view of the rural community. And I think during our um, field um, experiences there, we've seen that this is actually much more varied than we might think. So we've seen um, some who benefit tremendously from this new um, industry through, uh, for instance, the availability of new water resources that um, will in some cases triple the agricultural production of some farmers. Um, so they, they are now, uh, they have access now to, to pr um, treated water that is produced as part of the, the unconventional gas extraction. We've now got the opportunity to be irrigating with some of this um, treated coal seam gas water. We've installed some new infrastructure. We've built a ring tank and installed some centre pivot irrigators and some pumping and pipe work. Other than that, there's been very little change. Mm. All of our native timber shade lines, we've been able to just keep intact. Yep. Um, our access roads have, are all basically the same pattern. So that, that, they're the main ones. We've invested significantly into that. Mm -hmm. um, however, we've also, in a reimbursement type scheme, with Origin Energy, they've acknowledged that because they couldn't guarantee how much water there would be, well, there that's was a significant what I was going risk to, ask. to us. Yes, so, yes, um, yes. yeah, we were able to negotiate with them that they contribute to reduce our risk in, in establishing and you some will, infrastructure. And you will continue to grow the same crops. Um, uh, I, I presume you will increase production as a result uh, of this, this at this stage, water. Mm -hmm, at this stage, mm -hmm. can we? Mm -hmm having a very open mind and... Mm. Um, so what do you, what do you see the future um, of the gas industry to be in this region? It's interesting, I mean, it's, we've seen massive boom, massive population explosions through mm. our towns for a, for a very relatively short, um, short time period, a couple mm. of years, three mm. years maybe. Mm. And now all the major infrastructures in, the major pipe work, the major plants are all tailing off. Yes. Um, all of a sudden all the towns are really feeling the, the pinch from this, this big drawdown, which was yes. always forecast, but it's, it, yeah, it's really hitting home. Mm. I think longer term, I mean that infrastructure, it's in. Mm. It, it's not, it, they don't have to build it twice. Mm. Mm. So we'll certainly see gathering lines and we'll see wells being drilled. Yes and we'll see fields being extended and there'll be the odd field compressor station that goes in which is still i mean they're substantial pieces of infrastructure but Indeed, nothing yeah. like mm. what has mm. been mm. has been built mm -hmm. so i'll be very surprised if we see any it's going to be an operational workforce mm. and, and with that drilling and, and um, not so much the gathering ones but particularly the drilling industry most of the people involved with that are living in rig camps, mm. so you don't see them in the towns, you don't even really see them on the roads unless they're doing yeah. a rig move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that, in, that side of it can scale up or down and most people don't really see much change. And yeah. even business-wise, the businesses who are involved, they might be twice as busy yeah. and they might yeah. need to recruit a few extra staff to, to ramp up for that extra, but mm. It's nothing like the construction workforce that we've seen that's Indeed. going to be required yeah, 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 yeah. from here. I guess because I was heavily involved initially, I made the effort to actually read a lot of the EISs that the company submitted, mm -hmm. which are pretty lengthy and not always the most um, easy reading. 25 kilos, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah, yes, yes. And for that reason, very few people mm. in the public, who, you know, unless people have to read mm. them, they're not mm. really that good a bedtime reading. Mm, mm. Uh, but that did give me an understanding of what the companies had actually projected to the government. Mm. Some of the people that, that did read certainly bits of them were the developers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the information that the greater public saw was coming from developers who had a vested interest in talking up the hype 
and were largely picking the best bits out of them, adding them all together and saying, well, this is what we're going to see. Mm. And technically, a lot of it was not necessarily factually incorrect, but the odds of the development that they were talking and the numbers of people that mm. they were projecting were going to be needed to be living in these towns mm. long term, it was always highly unlikely that mm. that number of people were ever going to be required. Mm. Mm. Um, for example, uh, I mean, they, they talked about an operational workforce, a long-term operational workforce, mm. and also a construction workforce. Mm. A lot of the developers added those two together and said, well, this is the total. However, the reality is that the, wor the operational workforce have always been here, yeah. overlapped with the construction workforce. Mm. So from mm. that peak, mm. it was always just a take away. Mm. Um, mm. These extra people were never needed to come in over the top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's been overestimated, um, the, the benefits have not materialised in the vision of these developers at least, which what you, you, there's been some misleading going on then perhaps in terms of raising expectations. Mm -hmm.